So in today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to use the LED uh, light string keeper tester the gun fixer magic magic gun. We'll call it the LED magic gun. So unlike the Light Keeper Pro, which has the uh, added shunt fixer and stuff like this, the uh, LED uh, magic wand here is a little different to uh, animal. And uh, as you can see here, it has a pigtail on the bottom of this thing. So uh, if you have this particular gun, it has a couple of features on it. Uh, first is this switch here. It's for uh, sliding it to the left is for testing your LED strands. And sliding it to the right along with pushing that button uh, activates your voltage detector for your incandescent lights. And then you can go ahead and, and use the gun as needed for a particular light strand. So if it's incandescent, all you're going to be doing is doing a voltage check and you'll slide your lights along the uh, light strands. So if you got a pair of light strands, you'd be doing this motion. But in this video, we're going to be testing uh, LEDs to see, you know, if you have a potential problem if you have a segment that is not lighting. So uh, we'll go ahead and, and we'll put this, we'll turn that back off and we'll put the selector switch into the LED testing mode and then you have your set of LEDs that's not on. So this is the smallest set I have compared to some of my bigger ones. And uh, for this demonstration, these, I don't have a set of LEDs that's not working. So it's, it's kind of a little bit of a demonstration. So what, the, what you will do is you will take your, the part that you plug in the wall and you plug it into the bottom of your tester gun. And then what you will normally do is uh, you will determine, of course, which section is out. And then what you want to do is go ahead and kind of like pick the halfway point. So uh, for this, we'll just go ahead and we'll fold it in half. And we'll say this is the halfway point. And then we'll go ahead and uh, put this on the uh, table here and we'll go ahead and do some testing. So uh, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be kind of like separating your LED light away from the other wires. So you have potentially, you know, like four wires here. Sometimes there'll be three and sometimes there'll be two. So you, what you want to be doing is separating your lights. Now on your tester gun, you're going to see a slot right here. There's a slot. And that's where you're going to be inserting your wire. So what you go ahead and do is uh, you'll insert the wire into the gun and then go ahead and uh, test. So I don't know how well it shows up on camera but you can see that part of the lights are on. And yeah, they're not going to be at its normal brightness as compared to when you have it plugged in the wall. But you can, as you can see, they are lighted up. So from the uh, testing point, you can see that it is all working. So in case that it doesn't work, you keep moving down the line. So we'll pick a uh, we'll pick a halfway from here, you know. And then you, if if you got the capability of doing this, then you pick the halfway point again, and then you'll test again. And you go ahead and separate your wire, and then go ahead and insert it into the gun. 
and sometimes uh, sometimes the probe is not always going to pierce the wire so you might have to do it a couple of times and as you can see that the lights are working and then uh, so if that section is working you're going to keep going down the line until you get to the to the very end and sometimes you can start at the very end and work your way back you know so let's just say we know that this particular light strand is working 100 percent so usually what happens is that you know if you got a good working strand and you go to the end because you know here's your plug end and this is your your female end that you would add more lights to you can usually go ahead and uh, probe it and as you can see everything is working you know so it's just the process of elimination you know if you have a uh, a set of lights that's not working Fortunately, for this demonstration, all these work, so it's kind of hard to show you the real way of uh, testing lights when they're out, but that's the basics of how you test your strands. You decipher, decipher, decipher where your lights are out, and then what you can usually do is either have a little clip or a little piece of tape and mark each end of where it's out and then go ahead and start at the at your midpoint and, and see what lights up because it don't matter where you know let's just say let's just say that this is your problem light so if you go from this point and everything you know lights up and sometimes you'll have to, you know, do a little, little uh, experimentation and go from light to light to see what lights up and what don't light up. Because the, sometimes depending on how they're wired, they may or may not light. So, you know, you keep going down the line until you get more and more lights that, you know, either turn on or eventually you'll get to the section, let's just say, this is your bad one, let's just pretend that's the bad one and uh, you go to your your uh, next light and you, and you smash the trigger and let's say it doesn't light up you know you'll know that this is your problem one and then you'll go ahead and pluck it out and repair it if you got the replaceable bulb ones then you can um, repair them you know just put a new led in it but these are commercial, so these you can't take the bulb out. They're permanently in there. So, well, what are you going to do after you decipher, find out where the problem area is? Well, what can, if you want to cheat, you can just snip the wire, snip the bulb out, and put the wire back in. But that's only for if you got one out if you have more than one out and on a string you can't just splice the wires back together so you got two options of what you can do well actually three options of what you can do uh, your first option is the lightkeeper pro you can buy them little uh, replacement little they call them pods and what's inside that pod is a little resistor and it keeps these strands at a balance. It keeps them at a, at a normal voltage. So, because what happens is as you lose these LEDs, they may still pass current, but if it's out and it's still passing current, the problem is, is that the voltage for the rest of them start going up. So like these, uh, white LEDs they operate at 3 volts sometimes you know 3.2 if you get too many of these out they'll start cascading 
and then you'll have a national lampoon cascade failure where they'll just start blowing all in a line and then pretty much the set is junk so you got uh, like i said you got three options your first option is to get them lightkeeper pro pods and splice it it's got a little yeah, what it what it does is that you cut this lamp off chop it off and then you put your wires into the lightkeeper pro pod and then you 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 cinch up the little nut so what's in that little pod is a resistor and the resistor is if you're you know into the scientific part of this it's 33 ohms it's a 33 ohm resistor so if you're frugal or you know a genius like i am you get uh 33 ohm resistors and solder or solder them in line and you can keep your lights working problem is that now you got a gap so let's just you know let's say that is your repair so now you got a gap so like this is a four inch uh, gap now you got a eight inch gap so normally that is not really a problem because you can usually just you know zip tie the repair up or tape it up or something to make it consistent your other options are, you know, you can either A, use the uh, Lightkeeper Pro pod, or two, you can go ahead and solder in a 33 ohm resistor, or three, since you're chopping wires, and if you're mechanically inclined, you can go ahead and sacrifice uh, a cheap set of LED Christmas light strands and just uh, tie in a new LED if you want to go that far you know some people are not going to be able to solder a new uh, LED on a string or solder in a 33 ohm resistor or so you're pretty much forced to use that little uh, pod to repair your strings so that's that's basically how you repair your uh, LED strings you essentially just do a process of elimination you just keep probing and prodding until you find where it lights and where it don't light and then you know you go from there so that's it for this little video i hope you found it a little information of you know got a little information a little something out of it Unfortunately, I don't have a set of LEDs that's uh, failed because after, I don't know, 10 years now, it's, this, this set is probably almost 10 years, it still works. You know, this is just one of the deals when, where you buy commercial lights and you get many years of reliable service out of them. So, you know, buying commercial you know, unfortunately, you can't buy commercial lights from Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, Ace, True Value, Menards, wherever your little hardware store is, you can't get commercial lights. You have to go to a dedicated site online. You know, there's a lot of them out there. Just do a search for commercial light strands and they'll come up by, you know, you'll get a couple of dozen good hits you know the majority of mine come from uh, christmas lights uh, etc.com and then you got double a or triple a christmas lights and then you just you get the good stuff so if you want to invest on getting good lights that's where you go because if you get a good set of lights that last years the cost of owning them goes down so yeah they might be a little expensive up front but there ain't no way that you're going to get you know 10 years or more through a set that's you know five bucks at walmart and that's just the way it is so 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.